I dislike masculine women. They're a disgrace to womanhood and the sole reason why modern society has lost its respect for the female gender. They're loud, obnoxious, and often abusive. They think that by behaving like a man they will be respected and admired, but in reality, all it does is make them look foolish and immature. They act as if they are better than other women, and often try to control the people around them. They rarely take responsibility for their actions, always blaming others for their mistakes. They don't understand that a woman's power lies within her femininity, not her masculinity. They don't understand that a true woman is strong because of her vulnerability. She is respected for her intelligence and her ability to nurture and care for others. Masculine women are a disgrace to the female gender and should be avoided at all costs. Masculinity has long been considered a strength of character, with strong, confident males being celebrated in literature, film, and television. This ideal has been so pervasive that it has been internalized by many women, leading to a surge in masculine women. Masculine women, by definition, are women who possess traits traditionally associated with men, such as being strong-willed, assertive, and outspoken. While these traits can be admirable, I believe that the increasing prevalence of masculine women is damaging to both genders. The most obvious problem with masculine women is that they are damaging to the traditional roles of men and women. Men are expected to be strong, stoic, and independent, and women are expected to be gentle, nurturing, and dependent. When women display masculine traits, it blurs the lines between the two genders and challenges traditional gender roles. This can lead to confusion among men and women, as well as hostility between the genders. Another issue with masculine women is that they do not necessarily represent female empowerment. While it is important for women to be strong and independent, being overly masculine does not necessarily equal empowerment. In fact, it is often a sign of insecurity and a desire to fit in with the men around them. When women try to be more masculine, they are often just trying to prove their worth to men, which defeats the purpose of female empowerment. Finally, masculine women can be viewed as a threat by other women. This is especially true for women who are more traditionally feminine. The presence of masculine women can lead to feelings. 